hey welcome guys in the video in the tutorial of solidworks so in this tutorial we are going to see that how can you use uh, solidworks to make up orthographic views and how can you use a uh, drawing option which are which is available in solidworks how can you uh, use a drawing of a 2d part so we are going to make a drawing sheet for a 2d part so if you open solidworks you have this window go to file go for new so you can see there is this draw option so we are going to make a draw we are going to make a drawing file so click on this draw click on ok so this is your drawing sheet and how can we use this option to make a drawing sheet of any part file or any assembly file so in this video we are going to see we are going to use a part file so be sure that you have a part file already made by you in SOLIDWORKS. So let's um, go to standard view. We are going to open a document. Click on browse. So this all are, this uh, this all part file which I've already made. I'm going to use. Uh, part drawing one. So if you click on standard view, it will automatically uh, use the third angle projection for this uh, for this drawing part drawing, and it can or it can automatically make this three views. And as we know that this is the right view, this is the uh, side view, and that's the top view. So in this way, you can directly make this view. What I'm going to do? Uh, let's see we can change the properties of this sheet so i will right click on this sheet one go to properties i'm going to use ANSI landscape and click on apply changes and then so in this way you can change the uh, sheet format right click on this go to properties you can choose ANSI portrait ANSI landscape and like which you which you are required to do and then go to apply changes it says first angle or third angle generally we use third angle click on apply changes and now the second thing is that uh, how can you get the size so as you can see the size is a so that's fine now if I go to option go to here option then go to document properties here it's ISO changes to ANSI click on OK so now it's ANSI format that's fine so for this part file uh, we already uh, make these three things like the third angle projection view now you can move it if you click it like this so if you click like this it will automatically take you to the this this uh, part file now if i want to move this what i will do i will just uh, make my cursor at this point as you can see i get this drag arrow i want i uh, what you have to do you just drag it like this if you want it nearby you can make it nearby like this and the other thing is that you can if you click like this so it will move in this way so next thing is that um, as you can see there is this is a hole here if you go to part file there is a circular hole here but generally there is so there are no hidden uh, so there is a hole here but if you see the right view you can't see the hidden line here so how to uh, see the hidden lines for that you have to select this 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 uh, right view and you can see that this hidden line visible option you have to click on this so the hidden lines are visible now so similarly you can click on this hidden line visible click on this hidden line visible. so it automatically take for all this all this view so now we have hidden line visible but as you can see we have this center line for this circle but we don't have a center, center line for this circle so how to add the lines for this this circle here 
that's easy go to annotation go to center line click on this click on this first of all click on this view go to center line so automatically it will add the center line here and for this also so in this way you can add the center line for this to views now the third thing which we are going to see is that the orthographic view or the projected proje uh, projected view for this 2d drawing 2d part drawing so for that uh, it's easy you have to go to view layout here go to projected view select a drawing like this and drag it like this so that's the orthographic view which we are going to set for our drawing you can drag this like this way so that we can set all this drawing so in this way you can use this drawing sheet option available to make drawing for part files I will save this file part drawing one